Hello everybody. Uh, first and apologies you can see I've started building again and done no videos so um, time has just not really been on my side with uh, with working um, and Covid and stuff. It's just not really been uh, being able to do any videos so I'm going to do this video. It's maybe going to be a little bit longer than normal uh, and I'll run through what I've basically uh, what I've got done at the minute. So firstly is what kit am I building? So if you can't really see what the kit I'm building, it's obviously going to be a bigger one than normal. Um, it's actually a Tamiya 6 scale kit of uh, CB750. So I'll get that out of the way. I'm not going to go through the box. It's a standard double seas plastic kit. They've been out there. There's loads of unboxings online for doing these. So you can generally go through the, uh, through the kit. So I'm not going to bore you all with that. Uh, but yeah, it's a plastic kit. Which, you know, no metal in it at all. Well, I'll say there's no metal. There's a few screws and bits and pieces in it. But it's just a 90%, 95% uh, plastic kit. So, uh, and as you can see, I still mock it. As I normally do, as you've probably seen from my other videos. I mock every kit that I build. I never build it straight from the from the kit. Um, I'll go through bits what I've changed. Um, of what I've already done. And, and, and just obviously trying to make the kit better. As you know, I don't always build a standard kit. I try and put a little bit of me into everyone. So basically all I've done at the minute, I've mocked the frame. So we've got the frame together. Uh, there's no paint in it at all. It's just all been just sort of rubbed down, get the clean bits off. I've mocked the engine up, mocked the front end up. Uh, at the moment on the engine, um, I'll just go a good bit quick run through. Basically these pieces on here are just plastic. So they basically just add a pin that went through and then they just you just glued that in and these was like plastic nuts what i've basically done is i've, I've, I've blocked the holes up on behind them as you can see i've plugged the holes uh, and then i'm putting my own screw fixings in so they're actually going to bolt on rather than just glue in this piece actually as you go through that bolt in there as you can see And there, uh, that is actually a, get it to focus, sorry for the handheld, it's just the webcam won't do this, um, it's a, obviously a bolt straight through, which obviously bolts both sides as the original one would do, and then I've also done the one on the front as well as you can see, and now I've basically got is some 2 mil bar, and I have a 2 mil tap and die set. So I just tap some 2 mil bar. And then obviously that passes through. So it basically holds the engine in as it, as it would do on the original. Um, so from what I've started, I haven't really done a lot. But the, the biggest work is what I've done to the, the wheels. Um, the wheels have obviously, normally on the wheels, you basically have, this is a little bit disastrous, you have obviously plastic sprues. The wheels and the rims are together, and then these are in theory the spokes. You can probably guess what's coming. So what I've done, I've cut the spokes out of those, and then I'm basically respoked it. So I've used some stainless steel. Um, I think it's one and a half mil stainless steel, um, and then I've got some ferrules which go into the into the rim. So instead of it being something like that, difficult to say now. This is obviously for the front wheel as well. Um, they look obviously a little bit better with a spoke wheel. It just makes them a little bit more realistic. Not done anything to the rim. I was going to chrome foil the rim, but Tamiya Chrome is pretty good. I am going to chrome some different bits from, from the Tamiya Chrome. But the, the, the chroming is pretty good, even now for the age of the kit. Although this is a reissue kit. I think this kit was initially issued, don't, don't hold me to dates, but I think it was mid to late 80s for the first run. Uh, and this kit, looking at the decal sheet, I believe it's 2001, 2002 reissue. So it's still, a, it's still you know, 18, 16 odd year, 18 odd year old, getting the maths right. But it's not as old, obviously, as some of the 80s kits. It obviously came from eBay, came from Japan. I would advise you to be very careful on the first kits um, 
you can sometimes tell or, or ask the, the, the seller if you're going to get any of these kits because they're quite expensive now because they don't make them anymore. The first issue kits have issues sometimes with the decals because they're quite old. Uh, the reissue kits are better because the decals will be better. Plastic is plastic, um, but decals you can't do any other. Or again, I think that there is some manufacturers, I'm not sure, doing reissue of decals as well. So um, if you can get older something like that, the decals on the genuine kits um, are not the greatest. I did look at some of the older kits and there wasn't, there wasn't brilliant. So that's basically as much as I basically caught up the tank. I've took the tank off and obviously there's a, there's a ruddy grit gap in the top of the tank. So obviously I've filled that and just rubbed that down. Again, nothing's been in uh, Primed or anything. So it's just uh, in its sort of raw state. And then I've done the side panels. Just Again, they've just been rubbed down. Um, and then the air box. the air box headlight and then the other side panel uh, the engine is just roughly mocked up again this is going to be repainted it'll all be primed and repainted um, I don't like the finish on this on the chroming on the um, on the crankcase these kits was generally to be just as an assembly kit um, I remember the day uh, back when I used to work in the model shop, they used to call it what they call super plastic, or it, it, you could have left it basically painted, you, you could have left it this colour, it was as close to the real colour, but as everybody knows, you, you can't beat a painted and uh, and, and lacquered um, tank, so it's obviously always going to get repainted. And they did the same on the crankcase, they they basically painted it in a aluminium type of paint, and it, it's, it's all right, but it it's a bit too new, a bit too shiny for my for my taste. So I'm going to repaint it uh, and give it a little bit of weathering. So that's about as much as I've got really at the minute. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a bit of a catch. I felt a little bit guilty. It's been a while since I made any videos uh, after doing the, the Vincent. And this is a complete change of tack really for what uh, I've shown on the videos uh, previously. Norm, it's been obviously Model Factory Hero kits. Uh, and they're quite a complex kit to build. This is probably the first, I believe, I think it is. No, I, I did the, the, the Kawasaki, didn't I? I did this Kawasaki Z1R. Um, but this is this has been just something different. And certainly six scale. I've never built a six scale bike before, really. This is my first one that I've ever done. So I thought I'd uh, I'd share it with you guys on the channel and uh, help me lay from for the journey. I, it's not going to... If I see anything interesting, if I get the time... Um, I will probably do maybe some one or two more videos, but it's just I haven't had the time to do it. So it's been a little bit, a little bit of a busy time for me. So I'm just grabbing a few minutes here and there, a few hours when I come home, do a little bit, and then then I move on. So there's not really a lot to show you. And actually setting up the cameras and trying to do the videos. Um, and as you know, my videos are not the greatest. Um, they're a bit sort of, you know, as I do them really. Um, as you've seen, they're, they're, like this is handheld, so it's not it's not anything steady cams. And there's a lot of guys out there that do do modeling channels that do amazing jobs on the videos. I'm more really a model, like I've said before, rather than a a videographer or what you want to call them. So I thought I'd just give you a quick catch of what, what the plan is. Obviously, it's been a bit quiet, but there is work in progress, uh, and I'll try and uh, get a little bit better informed. If It might be, and again, it might be another couple of weeks, few more weeks before I do another video, but I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. So thanks for again. Thanks for joining for these videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.